So welcome to the AAAS Epicenter's virtual symposium, Exploring How Carbon Credits Are Evolving in the Oil and Gas Sector. We appreciate you all joining us today. I'm Rebecca Eicher, a project director with the American Association for the Advancement of Sciences Center for Scientific Evidence in Public Issues, also known as the AAAS Epicenter. Before we get started, I would like to acknowledge that there is a lot going on in the world. The tragic violence in Israel and Gaza, Ukraine, and other parts of the world can be overwhelming. Today's event is focused on an unrelated topic, but I do know that my heart is with those experiencing and dealing with the impacts of these atrocities. So with that and kind of moving on, we are here today to learn more about the landscape of carbon credit markets with respect to reductions in greenhouse gas emissions in the oil and gas sector. And we are hosting this virtual symposium to provide a forum for folks to learn and ask questions and share their expertise. I wanted to give you a quick bit about AAAS and the Epicenter. AAAS is a nonpartisan, non-governmental organization based in Washington, DC. The organization is celebrating its 175th anniversary this year. We are a scientific society, publishers of the science family of journals, and a programmatic organization with the mission to advance science, engineering, and innovation throughout the world for the benefit of all. The AAAS Epicenter is a program within AAAS, and by building trusted relationships between scientists and policymakers at all level of government, we make it easier for decision makers to access and use scientific information and for scientists to engage with policymakers at scale. So we're very excited to host today's symposium because we've been hearing from a number of different people, including state regulators, academic researchers, NGO colleagues, industry colleagues, that they had a lot of interest and questions and curiosity about carbon credits and the oil and gas sector. We've seen that there is a scientific evidence base and methodologies that could be shared more widely to talk about what's happening in this space, so we decided to bring together all of you in this virtual forum to start that conversation and explore what we, what more we could be learning and what we know now. I'd like to thank the many experts that we spoke with ahead of this symposium as they helped really inform this conversation and how this day is the agenda for today. Um, quickly, I want to review a little bit of the logistics and the agenda. So first of all, today's symposium is being recorded and will be made publicly available on the AAAS webpage. We will share that link with all of you once the recording is posted, but as a reminder, it's the event page where you registered for this event. We've also posted all of our speaker bios on the event page, and unfortunately, we have a packed agenda, so we won't have time to read the many accomplishments of our speakers, but you can see all of that in their bios on our website, and we encourage you to check those out. Um, thankfully, the speakers today have all agreed to share their slides, so those two will be posted on the event page after today's symposium. Throughout the day, as you have questions for the speakers, please post those in the Q&A box um, at the bottom of your Zoom screen. We'll try to get to as many questions as possible, but you can imagine we cannot promise that we will get to all of the questions. You'll note we have opened the chat for all attendees, so we encourage you to please take a moment to introduce yourself with your name and affiliation. After the webinar, we will make a copy of the public chats available to all of you that are attending live. If you have any questions about the event, you can reach out to us directly at the AAAS Epicenter. Okay, so let's get on to the real reason you all are here. We're excited to host this forum to really talk about the opportunities for carbon credits in the oil and gas sector, as well as explore some of the potential risks uncertainties, incentives, and potential unintended consequence. consequences. 
Um, you'll see on the screen a brief agenda of how today is going to go for us. We'll have five sessions, a few breaks throughout, and many opportunities for learning and discussion. Again, we really encourage you to ask questions in the Q&A box. And if you have comments, resources, or ideas, please do share those in the chat. Um, so I think we're ready to get on with it and get to the more exciting parts where you actually start to hear and learn from people. 